that if you do not take your hand off of him, he will take it off for you. I would like to tell him that why is he going after my favorite bartender for whatever reason with my diplomacy roll of 17. Yeah. He looks back at you. He looks back at you and says, I am not going after him. I'm simply doing what the mayor has told me. Oh, he's a mayor. Oh, the mayor has the problem. Uh, I relate to my friends. The mayor does not like our bartender serving us alcohol. I'm trying to tell the guy with the axe that uh, Angus over here has been telling me that the mayor has been summoning some uh, crossroad demons. The axe man looks back at the said mayor. The mayor gives a nod to Angus. And axe man is now going after Angus. Oh. Whoa! All right. I want to I wanna try and stop that from happening. So I'm rolling strength. Yes. This is this is ridiculous. Well, you guys are trying to kill off all the bartenders. I don't know what the hell's wrong with you. <laughs> I'm not uh, trying to kill off anybody. I'm not killing them off. I just want to steal that Tito's. <laughs> Did my roll pop up? Uh, no. I not not yet. There it is. Oh, okay. oh well, that's <laughs> um, <laughs> the axe wielding dude yeah. knocks you over the counter. You fall on your ass. He is now standing on the counter, looking down at Angus, um, asking him why he is spraying such slanderous lies. And he attempts to grab Angus by the shoulder and move him, but Angus is a large individual and does not budge, but rather just laughs. Um, Orbeck, you're still sitting next to the now-discovered mayor as all this is going on with the bartenders, and you witness your crew having (laughs) these various interactions with... The uh, uh, mayor, call off your men, calm them down. Let's talk this out. We don't want any trouble. You don't tell me what to do. I am the mayor, I tell you what to do. Intimidation check, <laughs> <laughs> go for it. <laughs> 30. Oh, yes, got him. Yeah, uh, 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 as the mayor is stumbling over his words, the entire tavern begins to shake. Oh, no. Uh, I'm looking for something that I cannot seem to find. <clears throat> um, uh, I swear, if this, if this dream goes off again because Orvac force-fed me the, the, the Tito's, <laughs> I'm going to do... <laughs> I stand back up because distraction. Oh! Oh, damn. I uh, walk all the way behind this NPC guy here. <laughs> and uh, we see how this goes. I want to see how um, this plays I out. I stand ready with my atlatl ready to throw at it. I say, what the fuck is that? Give me another beer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I pick up my glass of tea that's just sitting in front of me and down it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we all have the uh, the proper reaction to uh, what is happening here. Fuck this! <laughs> so, the tavern stops shaking just long enough for the front doors to explode open. As what you thought was once a statue now stands before you uh, in what was once the doorway of the tavern. Your time has come, Mayor. Your debt is due. The Mayor is seeing there simply shaking. Anybody have any response? <laughs> uh, I move even further. Like, I move even further. <laughs> I want answers, man. I want to know, you know, tell me, tell me what this is right now. Can I ask a question? Yep. Is it, um... Regular lighting, dim lighting. What's the lighting in the area? Uh, it's it's actually a pretty well lit tavern. Uh, there okay. is some smokiness to it coming from the hearth and various different pipes being smoked throughout the place. Uh, but ultimately, it's a really well lit um, tavern. And Valhalla, to your uh, question to the mayor, said mayor 
um, quickly turns to you and goes, He's stumbling over his words, obviously. Be cool. Um, do you honestly think a feeble man like me becomes mayor of a town like this without a little help? What deal did you make? My soul for this power. So... Are we hearing the rest of this, or is it just a private conversation? Well, this is kind of... He's not really watching the volume anymore, because... Um, yeah. He's in panic mode. So anybody within, hold on, let me do a little measurement here. Um, Omariza, you could probably hear it. Uh, Timley, you are just out of range of hearing this. That's cool. I'd like to pickpocket the guy next to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go ahead, Thank roll, dexter roll Thank dexterity. You. Thank you. Oh, hand. Pull that right out there. Get us some gold. Ah. Uh, fuck, I got a fucking. Fuck you uh, up. How? I don't know. I guess I was distracted too. <laughs> you take an elbow to the face uh, for your man. troubles, and you are going to take four points of damage. Okay. I would like to address the entity that just walked in and say, What deal are you talking about? Uh, so you are addressing this? Yes. Okay. The only deal a cross or a demon would make. His soul for the influence he needed to run this town. His time has come. His debt is due. Can I use my healing ability to, uh, patch myself up after that elbow? Or my okay. healing skill? Can we just throw the mayor to the guy who wants him and be done with it? <laughs> uh, you, you can. Uh, if, if this is nope. your choice. I, uh, I'm asking my colleagues who are close to the mayor. You get that? You got exactly that help back, man. All right. Looking at you, Orbach. Samson's we throw him forward, or we fight this thing, and well, yeah. uh, we kind of want on this quest to go fight this thing anyway, haven't we? We don't know what is this thing. I Excuse I feel me. like what it's not are you? Right Why now? are you here? Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm gonna walk up to the demon and snag up my great sword. Oh dang! Wow. Not even asking questions, just going for it. Nope. <laughs> just gonna fucking go for it. I'm going to back <laughs> away very very slowly. Okay, so um, Orbeck, go ahead and make a roll on your uh, Great Axe. Oh my god. Yes, yes, let's do that. Yay. Oh, not let's a bad way to... Good roll! Not a bad way to kick things off. Yes. Um, so, awesome damage. Hold on, let me double check. Damage. Yep, that is a lot of damage. Wait a minute. 1d12 is correct for a great X. Plus strength mod and a half, which is five, which is seven and a half. So yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Um, thankfully, what you are fighting can take that. Um. <laughs> I'm impressed, Orc. Everybody, roll initiative. Oh fuck you. Oh my God, you. Are... <laughs> Uh. Yeah! Wow! <laughs> yeah, 20, uh, baby! Yeah! What is the initiative again? <clears throat> uh, core? Fourth one down. Oh, core. Okay, that's why I was under. Yeah, 20! Oh, oh come on, Tim Lee. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> Tim Lee just wants to be in the back, and Tim Lee... <laughs> oh, Tim Lee's, Tim Lee's involved now, because you guys are blood now. Yeah. Uh, let's make yeah. sure that uh, Huffer's here. Huffer is here. All right, Huffer. Um, and are the patrons just going to watch? <laughs> are they in the way? Sadly, or... I put them in a lair where it's really pain in the ass to move them. Okay. Uh, so just assume they cowered underneath the table. Yeah, assume they all ran away and did the intelligent thing. Um, <laughs> the intelligent thing is fucking smack the shit with a great axe. <laughs> 
Yeah, right. Way to go, Samson. Leave it to a nine-year-old to, to take on a fucking crossroads. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm sorry. Let me go back to the numbers here. So actually, Omariza, before anybody else even realizes that um, Orbach's been a dumbass, uh, you, you get to um, go ahead and do sense smacking. I'm going to bless something, but give me a minute to figure out where I put that. Uh, that's in my classes. It's down the bottom somewhere. Wes, there we go. Um, all right. Uh, I'm going to call upon my goddess and have her bless the area. And she is going to attack as a standard action. I am going to unleash an arc of electrical electrical energy targeting any foe within 30 feet of me. Let's double check distance. Any uh, foe within the, 30 feet of me. The Herald oh, is okay. 45 feet out. God fucking shit. <laughs> use my work. Well, you, you still have a move action. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move first. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Probably smart. To there. And that is and exactly 30 that. feet. You're good. And then I'm going to do that for 1d6 of touch attack damage. Okay. <clears> so for those of you who do not know, touch attack is not concerned with um, how big of a badass armor-wise this dude is. Cool. Oh, okay. So, okay. So 1d20. Uh, d20. <laughs> Plus, there's no plus. It's just one d twenty, right? Uh, it's it, technically you either fail or you hit. Um, but it's one d twenty. No yeah. plus or minus. No. <clears throat> that is a <laughs> fucking. I actually failed that. <laughs> Epically failed. Did I kill somebody else? Seriously. <laughs> um. Okay. No, no, the, the Herald uh, is going to simply laugh at your god. Oh, thank yeah. god. I'm not within 30 feet of her. No, and you are actually... Uh, your I god, lost a blessing for today. Your your god threatens if you call upon her again to make sure that it's against the foe that is actually weak to uh, her influence. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay, so I'm fucked on that one. I suck ass. Next. Uh, so next up, Trapapam is actually going to be the Herald itself. Oh, good. Um, and the Herald is not very happy about getting hit in the face with a great axe. You sure? So, yeah, kind of positive. Um, so he's going to use a Hellfire attack. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, the fun little saying didn't pop up. Oh, well. You guys got the blank message. Um, so, I actually didn't check to see who's in the Kona 10. Um, this is going to be Orbach is going to get hit by this, and he's the only one. You are going to take 9 points of damage, Mr. Orbach. Oh, my uh, dude. And then you are going to roll a d20 to find out whether or not you are on fire. <laughs> is that a fortitude or a dex save? Uh, in this case, it's going to be a dex save. So it would be a reflex save? Yes, correct. He rolled a natural one. Doesn't matter. I don't get. Yeah, I don't see anything. I oh, see. I, no, that I was. Rolled you. <laughs> I rolled an eighteen. Oh, there you, you do not catch fire. Um, so you simply just take nine lovely points of damage, uh, which puts you at five health because we did not heal up from our last fight, friends. Um, yeah. I do. So, I healed up. Let's see. Next up is Prom Um. Orbeck or or would go here, but you kicked this party off uh, with a smack. No, you've recovered. Go ahead and take your turn, Orbeck. Who, who just went? Um, the Herald. The no, who... Um, Josh Esh. I don't know who that is. Oh, he was, roll, he was rolling to make sure that he didn't catch on fire. Right. Is that the one that I healed to the hit points? Is what now? Okay. Done. Thank you. 
Um, I'm going to become blood raged. Ah, and while you are blood raged, what will be happening? So, Do while it. I am blood raged, I have a plus four morale boost to all my strength and to strength and con. Mm-hmm. Uh, plus two to will saves, but I have minus two to my AC. Yep. Um, I also gain the ability to attack with claws that I grow onto my hands out of nowhere. There are mass. neutral weapons that lets me attack twice with full base attack bonus. And the damage is 1d6 plus strength mod each. And did you add in... This is, this is also the ability that gives you... Um, it's not just attacks. Isn't there a free action at the beginning and end of your turn? Yes. Yes. Okay. So it, it's not simply limited to uh, attacking. It, it's full-blown action. His free action is to blood rage. My free action is to become blood raged, and then yeah. I gain the claws that let me have that attack. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then are you going to... Uh, I'm going to attack with my claws. Sounds like a fucking fantastic thing. So, I'm I don't actually have this one programmed in because I didn't take the time to figure it out. So, we're going to roll a d20. And then add our bonuses to it. Plus add, four. It's my strength bonus to it, right? No, it's a... It's a plus four. It's your strength bonus plus another four on top of that. So, in your case, that would be... I think it's doing that thing where we're moving each other. Five plus... It's going to be plus fucking nine. Rock on, brother. Do it. Uh, only... F wow. F only 15? Only? Only 15. Holy shit, this thing's getting its ass kicked. Uh, wow, I thought I gave it a beastly amount of health, too. And two hits, or back's like, fuck off, dude. <laughs> well, that was just a hit. That was not damage. <clears throat> oh, shit. That just confirms that That's he... Just, did I hit it? Um, let me go back here to 15. Hold on, let me add that 15 I just took away from it back. Um, da, 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 it's armor class. I just went away from that. Um, yes, yes, that does. Okay. Oh, god damn it. Actually, let's roll first. That one. So it's going to deal 11. That's awesome. Not, that's not bad either. And then the second one that's hitting is dealing another 9. Holy fuck balls. <laughs> Holy shit. Orbex, Orbex a fucking animal. <laughs> Wait, is that your second attack? It's a claw. He's got claws on each hand. Right, so he rolls two attacks. Oh, I technically have to roll for uh... the second attack. 1D. So the damage sure is alive, yeah. but the attack is the second attack. Uh, that one's gonna smash there... the shit out. It's going to rip the shit out of it. <laughs> so, um, as we said, as we said, Orbach just dealt 20 points of damage to this thing. Um, yeah, it, guys. It, it is, uh, it is it. definitely surprised, uh, caught off guard, and severely pissed off. D does he sense the demon that's, ha that's coming out? You hold, your, ho you hold your horses. Got it. Um, Valhalar, you... I'm just uh, getting into position. Okay. So I can move 40, and I think Hydro can only move 20 because he's aquatic, so he can't move as yep. far on land. <laughs> Worthless. <What>? Worthless turtle. <laughs> Wait until he evolves later on and turns into a badass, guys. Yeah. Can you uh, picture the voice of the turtle going, I'm almost there? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, slow and steady wins the race. All right, all right. Um, uh, anything else that you would like to do? I don't think I can do any. Uh, well. Do you have any cantrips you can use or anything like that from your summoner abilities? You can actually. Well, I believe, and yes. I have, summon, I have summon monster, right? Well, you have summon Hydra. The actually, <laughs> you could summon no, because your Eidolon is technically a part of you. It's it's not it. It's a different type of summon. Um, but at your level, I don't think you can control multiples at a time yet. So it's technically a different spell, but I believe you could only control your caster level at the moment. 
Let's see. Starting at first level, a summoner can cast summon monster one, three times a day. Right. Does it? It usually has when a limit to the. Oh, amount. can only use when his eidolon is not summoned. Yeah. Okay. Um. You should have most uh, summoners use the cantrip of cure light wounds. Um, I don't know if you have that one going or not, but I am looking at your health bar right now. And for those of you who are not playing along at home, he's still at five health. Yeah. Uh, let's do that. Uh, so that would be uh, 1d8 plus your caster level. So 1d8 plus one. Bingo. Nice. All right, so you're going to go back up to... That's actually going to bring you to full health. Sadly, you can't overheal. You're a priest, not a warrior. Um, All right, I'm testing out a macro I'm making. So yeah, that's ignore fine. My, ignore my shit. Timley, you with your amazing roll down there, what are you going to do? Uh, Well, Hover is going to move. What's Hover's movement range again? I'm trying to find it. Is this table considered an obstacle? Do you have to move around it? Uh, 40. It, it's considered difficult terrain. Uh, it takes twice your um, movement to move over it. Okay. All right. Really I'll move forward forward. Come on. You could do an acrobatics check to see if you can make it over without any penalty. Um, what are you doing? I'll move Huffer about 35 feet here. And then you said Huffer was 40, right? Or is Huffer... Uh, that's what I have listed here because we based him off okay. of the, that other boar, right? Yeah. Yeah. So and his base then... must be his 40. Uh, can I shoot over the table? Since I'm Yeah, gonna... fuck those patrons. They're not there. And if they are there, let them get shot in the face. Okay. Then I will attempt to shoot. Uh... Go for it. Um, the arrow misses. It sticks into the wall back here. To which uh, Grog Stout tells you, "You're gonna pay for that one half thing." <laughs> and you're like, "There's a <laughs> demon." Worried about? <laughs> There's, I know there is a demon. If we kill that thing, um, uh... you're gonna kill him next. Um, so well, we have to see. Tim Tim Lee is really good at rolling. So this brings us back to the Herald. Um, actually, just so you guys know, all the guards. I forgot to put them in here. Uh, simply fall back to where's the third one. Fall back around the mayor. Um, God, why can't we let these? Why couldn't we let these guys protect the mayor? Yeah. Because somebody wants to smack people with their uh, great axe. Hey, I did good. By the way, Mister Half Demon, you need to make a will saving throw. Yeah. Um, and I get. Hold on. Is that because he's in berserker mode? Nope. It's because he's half demon, and you have essentially a demon demigod sitting in front of you right now. Gotcha. <clears throat> and your armor class is going to have a non effect on this. I'm looking to it's see. Plus two to the will to the save because I'm blood ridged. So what you roll an eight. Ugh, so only a ten. ten. The ten total. Uh, that is not going to be enough, sir. Yeah. Uh, while your mind is still under your control, your body, it, your body is not. Uh, awesome. Because of your half demon status, the herald has controlled the part of your body which is demon, but your mind being um, half not demon is uh, doing its best to fight against the herald yep. uh, now with that being said he commands you to jump on top of said counter and you are actually going to whip well i got rolled to see if this could work you're gonna try to whip and throw a great axe that's about yeah. to happen <laughs> um sadly sure. sadly because you are the nearest one omariza it's going to be at you but i don't think he's gonna have a great deal of success he's gonna be nowhere near it go ahead um uh, unless he rolls uh no he rolled a 10. yeah so nowhere near the great axe goes flying past your head and lands somewhere down here underneath these tables so orbach sure. if nothing else is without his axe 
Uh, however, the claws are still out. Just putting that out there. Yep. And the herald now actually doing what the herald does, flaps his mighty stone wings, and burst towards uh, Bahalar with um, what am I trying to say here? His own set of claws out in front of him, ready to punch at you. Let's see if this works for him. He rolls. And he swings twice, and apparently they both go over your head. Yeah, buddy. Um, so whatever you're doing is working for you. However, he lands in a lovely little position, uh, Omariza, to give you an attack right at his flank. So this, Love would, it. this would be an attack of opportunity. This is not your actual turn just yet, even though you are to act next. Doesn't she? Isn't she supposed to act first? Uh, it would normally be, but, but he, he was took... he was in a burst of flight. Uh, Got so, it. so he was technically in the air. When he lands, now he's within her reach. That makes sense. Okay, so I'm gonna make one swipe at him with my weapon. Yeah, with your double uh, blade. Yep. And that is a... 11. I think that's... Well, I know I just looked this up a moment ago when I got yeah. smashed in the face with an axe. It's not going to uh, hit. Herald. Uh, character sheet. Armor class. Uh, nope. It's not going to hit. Right. All right. So, so now, now it's your actual turn. Okay. Since he's right next to me, if I move away, will I get an attack? But only if you move more than one square away. All right, so I'm going to stay near him, and I'm going to bite the bullet. So, all right, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to roll the regular thing that says on the sheet, and I'm going to just hit the thing, but. It's, I can't describe it. I'm not going to swing normally. Rather than having one hand on the weapon, I'm going to have two hands on the weapon. It will add one and a half damage. And it will add, add uh, is this get part rid of, of the... Is this part of your weapon for this? It's different. It will get rid of the two, two weapon fighting. Oh, so you're going to turn your two... All right, you're going to turn the two blade sword essentially into a one... Yeah. You got you. So I've already programmed it in for one blade. I don't know how to change that. Without adding another weapon. Uh, you might just have to add another weapon. But can you, okay. can you do the roll without the program? Yeah, definitely. Okay, okay so that is... Uh, it's a d20... Don't ignore that because I don't know why I did that. It's a d20 plus my strength modifier, which is three, and roll. That's it. Okay, so that is your roll for hit. Yes. That will be a hit. Okay, so then it's 1d8 <clears throat> plus I would say a d12 instead of a d20. Huh? Wasn't that supposed to be rolling 1d20? Not that matters. You got the number, but... It was supposed to be 1d20. Yeah, I don't know why. Well, 12. And it's then it's hits. 1d8 plus my strength and a half. So it's 4. Because so round it down. And roll. 8 there points of eight. damage. Just said. Alright, where is Asshole's health? Asshole. Not existing because I slapped the shit out of him. You did. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, defenses, total health is not there, it's under core. And use him for eight. Yeah. The Herald falls to a single knee and goes, I can't believe I underestimated you. That mistake will not be made again. Yes. Do not trust this man they call the mayor, for things are not always what they seem. The statue falls over, um, and as it does fall over, um, an essence, I'll call it, is released 
uh, and makes its way back out the entrance of the tavern and out into what is now the dusk of near sunset. Dusk and near sunset doesn't work. The twilight <laughs> near sunset. Um, yeah. And set oh, fight God. has impressively been won. I'm not gonna lie, Orbeck, those first two attacks caught me completely the fuck off guard. <laughs> so you guys know, just to kind of put it out there in a fun little holy fuck that really just happened that quick way, the combined health of everybody in the cemetery did not come within 10 points of health of this guy. <laughs> nice. Cemetery is much longer, though. What's that? Okay, okay so this guy's sure. dead. So that means He's I'm dead. grabbing a beer. He is dead as fuck. Um, and now you are left in the tavern with um, Angus, Grog, and the mayor as the only real people that need anything left. Um, huh. Yeah, let's give a second here. Josh says he's not hearing anyone. Can you guys hear me? I can hear you. I can hear, you. Yeah. I can hear, you. hear everybody except Josh. There you guys are. That was them. Oh, there okay. you go. All of a sudden, you guys were talking, and then it just, nothing. <clears throat> you so, missed the epic battle? What? <laughs> yeah, the epic battle, he pretty much ended it before it started. Um, You're welcome. So now, really truly, the only person of interest left to talk in here, folks, is um, the, mayor. the mayor. Yeah. Uh, you could talk to Angus and Grog, but they're just going to talk beer. Which I know, Valhalla, you're a huge fan of, but uh, <laughs> you and Omar Isaac could get your, your brewskis as uh, things are wrapping up with the mayor here. All right, Orbeck, you started the conversation with him before, so why don't we see where it takes us now? Mayor, we just saved your life. Now tell us everything you know. You've earned three honest answers from me, friends, but no more. Hmm. So what do we need to know from this interaction? You're asking us, not the mayor. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay. No, it's my um, question is asking the mayor what we should ask him. Yeah. <laughs> Go Jim Henson. Yeah, mine as well. What are the three most important things we need to know? Like, is that our... No, I was, I was definitely being sarcastic when I said that. Yeah, but if he doesn't answer, then he's violating his treaty with us. That's fair. Hey, Mayor, what's the two most important questions we can ask you? Importance depends on the person asking. Damn it. You said you'd answer honest. We don't have time for these games. Well, tell me what it is that you're interested in. Yeah, I will tell you what's most important to you. Okay. The Crossroad Demons. What would you like to know about them? Should we ask him if that's something to do with Abaddon? Uh, we could ask him about the man in the cage. Right. Um, I think the man in the cage had some significance for somebody. Yeah, for uh, Tim Lee. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take that as what, you know, what is his correlation with, between him and the man in the cage or something like that. Yeah. yeah. What, what do you know about the man in the cage? And his interactions with the Crossroad Demons. His debt was due. It was called. It was called in by his demon. And he may have been manipulated with a glamour to make people believe he committed the crime he's committed. Okay, so the prisoner is innocent. Prisoner is innocent. Yep. Should we ask him if we know how we can free him? Because the prisoner said, "You, I need you to free me, but it's not as easy as just opening the cage. Or, right. How can we prove his innocence? I guess, or we could ask, there's... Hmm. How can we ensure his safety or... or... <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Uh, I, I, 
my name is Axe. I send hot Hydra to do some ankle biting again. <laughs> Hover protect me. <laughs> um, so there was, there was a question asked about the innocent. Sorry, that, that was going on, and uh, he failed miserably. So you need to make that note to everybody else. Um, so I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Yeah, we're... We want to ensure the safety, the safe release of the prisoner because he said it's not as easy as just opening the cage, right? Right. Well, you see, the problem is, is I don't have the ability to pardon your your friend, question mark. Um, his sentence has come from the king himself. He is the only one who could give him a pardon. So you went scratchy there. I didn't actually hear you. Can you repeat yeah. that? Ooh, I'm hearing that scratch too. I don't think it's me. Um, just for the record, so I think it's me. Way to be freaking bigger. So <laughs> as I was saying, uh, the, or as the mayor was saying, I am not the one capable of pardoning, pardoning, pardoning the prisoner. It is the king who has condemned him, and it is only the king who could save him. The god king. The god king. Is there any other? The God so, King condemned him. The God King passed the sentence that you have you you're you were bashing me, therefore we're gonna hang you. Right. Uh, we That's don't have a lot of time king. left to find and or convince or persuade the king, do we? To a uh, question to the group. Uh doubtful. He's probably at the his castle like on the other fucking side of the continent. <laughs> but 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 the king is supposed to be good. Uh, do we get as, a reward for just slaying that statue? I feel like <laughs> it's <not there>. as, <laughs> Good, uh, as as Abaddon is supposed to be evil, the devil, right. the God King is supposed to be good. Right. I don't. So perhaps you should appeal to that good nature in the God King. But I cannot afford to give your friend any more time. I think you can. Was that was that a check yes. of some sort? Yes, I think you can wait. I'm not sure how you're going to wait, but you can. Uh, I, my my computer is being a bastard right now, so I have no idea how this is going to work. Um, no, that's not going to work. Shit. Yes, I think it can wait, but uh, what do I need to check? Well, are you trying? Are you trying to persuade? Are you trying to intimidate? Are you are you appealing to the fact that you just saved his life, or are you going to appeal to the fact that you just killed the thing that had him shaken? Uh, um, appeal to the fact that he, we had the thing that was shaking him, and we need to kill it, and we did. So yeah. God dang it! That means we won't get that reward. So <laughs> you're going to intimidate him then? Sure. Do you want me to take that check? Yeah, you might want Orbeck to take the intimidation yes. check. Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, 19. No, yes. no, 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 19? 19. Uh, that is going to be enough to intimidate the mayor. And he says, I could send word to the king that you will be on your way, but I could give you no more than a couple days. Cool. So... Uh, Timley, get in here and run his pockets. <laughs> uh, no. So here is where we are officially at, and this is actually uh, the perfect place to stop because this is the end of the crossings for now. Um, I'm just making note that uh, the group convinced the mayor. Mayor to... Oh, he passed out on the table. Word. The alcohol's catching up. I ask for a word from the mayor. Delay execution. A couple days. All right. So here's what we have accomplished tonight as a recap. Uh, Riza is not part of the blood bond. Uh, so she is not blood bound to you. Not in on blood bond. However, Riza has been helping you guys throughout this whole affair, even though she is not um, cursed. Um, Orbeck, you got 
the letter did we state publicly what that was yet nope no one no, no one but me knows what that is okay so you know what that is um yep, that's i got it down uh i want to make notes myself so i don't fuck that up only or Bach knows right now okay Uh, Tim Lee is a stealing fuck, uh, but got five <laughs> gold and tossed away the toy soldier. Uh, God, that, that toy soldier sounds important. I shouldn't have lost <laughs> it. All right. So you never asked her name, but the uh, sailor woman's name was Alesha. And um, she informed you of Abaddon, uh, who is the devil on Earth, as the god king is supposedly god on Earth. Um I have to meet up with her at Tide Widow for some answers, right? Yep. And the Tide Widow, which when you guys get bumped, actually, let's go ahead. Uh, I'm going to bump you back to this page now just so that we can all see this as I'm doing the final recap. It'll make a lot more I'd sense. I'd still like to ask the mayor for the reward. <laughs> <laughs> your reward is your friend not getting killed for a few days. Ah, uh, uh, dang. Yeah. See, I knew we shouldn't have wasted that. So... <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is where everything just took place, right? I hope the pinks are coming through okay and you guys are actually on the page with me where the map yep. is. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we're on the map. All right, so this is where the God King resides and where you will be going to appeal for the life of the prisoner. Um, the goblin and the halfling that were arguing over the take from Smuggler's Notch, um, it, it came from here. The Tide Widow is uh currently harbored here and normally is that's not a hard set location uh it's just kind of like the area that um they are known to kind of reside in and not much is known about what's down there as far as villages and such okay. um <clears throat> i think that's it for so far so um and Kingsport is where those dudes landed. The Ventures that said they retired from fighting the Bog Beasts at yep. Sunken Earth, which I'm pinging over on uh, <clears throat> kind of the other side of the world. I don't know how to describe that. Um, Sunken Earth is there. A few other things that were named. Um, we had talked about Twins Watch Bridge. Mm -hmm. That was there for folks that need to know. And Dragon's Tooth is... Uh, right over here as uh omaraza made reference to that so that's some of what we visited tonight um and you've named angus's ale uh tavern talk tito's ale tim lee has himself a badass cemetery sword which the next time we meet we'll have stats it'll probably actually if you check uh over the next couple days there'll be a note on that at least um, awesome and as of right now the group is uh going to be traveling to talk to the God King. And, All right. And this well, hey, um, was opening adventure. How does uh, leveling up work, though? Ah, so I will do that kind of behind the scenes. I'll put it on your character sheets, what the XP was we got from uh, tonight. Uh, we are on a fast track of leveling up. There is even a chance with the amount of battles we did get in that I might ding you guys to level two. Um, and it's kind of slowed down a bit from there. We'll see what happens. Mitch, you sound like you had a question too. Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't have a question, man. I, I just had a comment um, for you, Steve. I just wanted to say thank you for setting up this world, this whole Roll20, these stories, all of this. Like, awesome job on all of this hard work. Like, it was really cool. It, it, I know. This you know, was just really cool. But I'm, I'm having fun. This is awesome, man. Awesome. This was a blast. Yeah, yeah, this was awesome. Great. Well, I appreciate you guys taking part of it and, and buying into it as much as you have already. I know I've had a bunch of really cool conversations with you guys about it so far. I'm pumped to finally see this world come to life. Um, I'm really excited for for where it's going to go from here. Um, you know, intro, intro lesson tonight, but I think we all got the hang of it. And for those veteran players that put their two cents in, uh, really appreciate your your voices in the matter. <laughs>